off-road world has been waiting with bated breath for the next generation iconic Jeep Wrangler. The Jeep arguably has the best off-road capability of all the SUVs currently on the market and now it will have a new twist a diesel engine. The caveat? We'll have to wait until 2019 for that oil burner to arrive. In the meantime, folks have the option of a new 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with a proven 3.6-liter V6, now with stock flash start technology. The smaller turbocharged engine is good for 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of towards and is mated to a new 8-speed automatic transmission. This engine features the new e towards technology with start flash stop, fuel shutoff and regenerated braking. No work on EPA fuel ratings, but Jeep certainly seems to be paying attention to efficiency this time around. I'll admit to being a bit skeptical about a turbocharger in a vehicle meant for off-road glory, but Jeep placed the twin scroll turbocharger directly on the cylinder head for greater durability and designed an electronically actuated waste gate that should perform well even when one is rock crawling or in a precarious situation. Further, a separate liquid cooling system for air, throttle body and turbo should allow drivers to turn up the heat on their driving line choices while keeping their power point nice and cool. But really, it's the diesel that I think most folks will want to wait for. The 3.0-liter V6 Deputy Cell, mated to the 8-speed automatic transmission, will offer 260 horsepower and 442 pounds flash feet of towards. Jeeps are made for slow and steady rock climbing, not fast dune running like the Ford Raptor, it was just fine with horsepower in the mid-200s. The extra torque, however, is a boon and should help the Wrangler climb up and over obstacles even easier. And what if you just want to roll your own gears? An all-new 6-speed manual transmission is standard on all Wranglers with the 3.6-liter V6 engine. The new Wrangler Rubicon 4-door gets a bit better geometry as well, thanks to the bigger old face Goodrich KO2 tires. An approach angle of 44 degrees, brake upper angle of 27.8 degrees, departure angle of 37 degrees, and a ground clearance of 10.9 inches should be enough to get drivers most places save for the most extreme trails.